Okay, continue with equity theory. So basically, uh, equity theory is where we make comparisons about uh, the input and outcome of our work uh, in term of normally in terms of salary, whether our performance, uh, our effort, our performance is the same as our friends or our colleagues who got the same uh, salary as us. So if we got the same salary, uh, the efforts is the same, uh, the outcome is the same, so we can say that it's a fair, uh, it's equal, that means it's a fair. But if our effort is more, their efforts, our colleagues' or effort uh, are less, but we got the same salary, then we consider unequal or unfair. So we tend to uh, compare input versus outcome, for example, equity, company A, company B, the same job, the same situation, uh, whether they got the same reward, the same compensation. If it is the same, then it is fair, so equal or have an equity theory. So here, for example, uh, some people, they, they compare themselves in terms of whether they are under-rewarded or over rewarded so under uh, uh, when the the inequity is exists when they are under rewarded compared to the friends to their clips so when their inputs uh, and out uh, and outcomes uh, are different that means uh, input and outcome may be the same but uh, rewarded are different so let's say me and my clique if uh, the, 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 the same job, I do the same job I, in, in the same situation, the outcome is the same, but I uh, consider under-rewarded, I consider this as inequity. Why I got less pay, even though I do the same uh, job, the same situation, everything the same, the outcome is the same, why I got this uh, less pay, this can be a problem uh, to the employees because they tend to compare why they got less salary and so on. So it become equal, it become fair when the outcome, uh, when the inputs and outputs and rewards are the same. That means uh, compare friends with them. They are with their friends. So if let's say the inputs and the outcomes uh, is uh, are different from their friends, that means they are they got more salary even though they do the same job, the same situation, uh, but they compare themselves with their friends uh, you, you, uh, performing the same work in different company. If they got over rewarders, I mean they got more salary, they considered it's also unfair or unequal. That means inequity exists here. So the one that got uh, that uh, equity apply is when they receive the same reward for the same input for the same outcome. I hope you understand my uh, example here. Uh, if you can't understand, you can write a comment uh, when I put uh, in the Google form that I will uh, 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 give it to you later. So employees, when they perceive uh, there are uh, or there is inequity uh, happen to them, they tend to do uh, one of the these six choices. So they can change the input. Let's say they said that I got uh, under rewarded. That means I got underpaid. So I may change the input so that why putting more effort if I got less pay, for example. If I got less pay for, for doing the same input, the same outcome, I may be thinks that, oh, I got more reward, I got more salary, so I have to put more effort. So they change the input, they increase the input. So another thing that the employees can do when they perceive that they are at the experience in equity, they may change the outcome. Um, Maybe if they got higher pay uh, for the same input, uh, they may change the outcome. They put a better quantity, uh, they put higher quantity of the lower quality. They may, they may uh, for this one, uh, they put higher quantity of the lower quality. Maybe when they, uh, just to, to, to rationalize why they are overpaid, for example. They also can distort the perceptions about themselves. For example, I I overpaid. I got higher salary because I work a lot harder than my colleague. That's why they got less pay. I got higher pay because I work harder. For example, this is the considered distort distorted perception, but can make themselves feel better because they they try to overcome this inequity um, uh, within themselves. 
or they distorted the perceptions of others. For example, uh, uh, I got higher pay compared to them who are doing the same input, uh, doing uh, performing the same work, uh, have the same outcome. Maybe because they put less effort, uh, less effort than me. That's why they got less pay. So you just try to rationalize within yourself to make sure that this equity that you experience is actually equal or actually fair. So you can choose a different reference, for example, to justify why you got higher pay or lower pay. Uh, for example, uh, why I got uh, less pay than my boss? Maybe because I'm better than my boss when he was at my age, for example. Or if you disagree with the, especially if you receive underpay, less pay for the inputs and outcome uh, of your job uh, compared to your friends, you got less pay, you said, I disagree with this. I, I've been, uh, I've been given, uh, maybe, uh, uh, you know, I feel, feel um, uh, be, you feel, you feel unfair for giving less pay, so you just resign. So this among uh, six choices that you can do uh, to justify why you got, why you got, you, you know, this kind of less pay or higher pay. Okay, so next is uh, organizational justice. Uh, there's another theory uh, where we talk about motivations. So organizational justice is how employee feels that they are being treated by the authority or by the management at work in the organizations. So there are three types when we talk about organizational justice, distributive justice, procedural justice, and interactional justice. So, organization and justice is basically about uh, overall perceptions, about your perception, overall perception, about whether it is fair or not fair uh, that you've been treated by the authority, by the management in the organization. So, uh, distributive theory is about uh, the outcome that you perceive, whether it is fair or not fair. fair. For example, I got the pay raise I deserve. Is it fair or not? If it is fair, uh, then you think that the pay raise that you got is fair. Procedural justice is a perception of fairness in terms of the process. For example, I had uh, input into the process, used to give raise and was given a good explanation why I received the raise. For example, you, uh, uh, you, you received the raise and then you've been explained why you received the raise, why you didn't receive the raise. So you, when you receive the explanation from the authority, for example, uh, why you didn't get a promotion, and that explanation is uh, logic or justifiable, then you, you consider it is fair because, you, you know, even though you didn't get uh, uh, promoted, but the explanation is uh, satisfied. Uh, maybe because you do not uh, work to the uh, to to the standard that organization wants, so you you consider this a fair process of uh, of the organization. So you perceive that organization are doing uh, well or treating you well in terms of fairness. Interactional justice is sensitivity to the quality of interpersonal treatments. So when people tell uh, about uh, <coughs> when uh, telling uh, when when the organization telling their you for example if you are employees uh, that's uh, the reason why you do not be promoted for example uh, the way the the, uh, the the authority or the management explain to you uh, that make it uh, they may be recognize your hard work but at this point you need to work harder for example the, the way they explain it to you is consider you 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 become uh, you become uh, you know you become more relaxed you become more understanding of why the organization didn't give you raise so this consider as a a fair in terms of interactional because they still are looking at your sensitivity in terms of interpersonal uh, relationship. So that's why interactional justice is your fairness in terms of interactions, in terms of interpersonal explanations or relationship. You think that uh, the organization treat you fair uh, either in terms of uh, the outcome that you get from the organization Okay, next is uh, you think uh, the organization treat you fair or justice because of the process and lastly because of the uh, personal or uh, interpersonal treatments. So, um, 
the the first type this actually uh you can read on your own it's not really difficult this one uh, job engagement yes job engagement is the investments of employees in terms of physical cognition and emotion that they put their energy into performing the job so it's basically uh, how you are uh, involved uh, physically cognitively and emotionally in performing the uh, the, the job <coughs> Okay, according to the Gallup organization, they have done research. The more engaged employees, the more successful they will become when they work in the organization. And what make people more engaged in the jobs? Normally, uh, when the jobs is more meaningful, then they tend to be more engaged in the in their in the job. And also, when they found out that their values and the organization values are the same, or they have that matching uh, values, then they tend to um, become more engaged uh, in the job. And also leadership behavior, if their managers or supervisors uh, inspire them to become uh, to become a good workers, so inspire them better, though, so this kind of uh, make them to become more engaged in their job. So it is important to have good leadership as well as the job itself must be meaningful and also their values are, must be the same as the organization values. This could increase work engagement among the employees. Sorry.